And next up, we're going to have a totally different conversation with Megan Joe Wilson, all the way from the great state of Maine. Megan, join me up here. I'm going to give you a hug. Yes. So I got to show everybody this cover. Who the fuck am I to be a coach? And there's a great subtitle to you, Megan. It's the Warrior's Guide to Building a Wildly Successful Coaching Business from the inside out. Yes. Love that. Tell me Thank about you. the book, but particularly what do you mean by from the inside out? Yes. So curious. Yes. Uh, well, firstly, this book would not exist without you. So thank you for... It wouldn't exist without you either. I know. We did it. <laughs> yes. Uh, so thank you for that. Um, I've been a coach for a long time, as you have. I've been a coach for about 13 years, and I've been training... That's longer than me, Mama. Is it? <laughs> yeah, by a lot. That's, I'm like seven years. You got yeah, it's me. a long time. Like yeah. thousands of human beings. <laughs> thousands of human beings, and I train coaches. And um, we're in the business of dreams. And we bring dreams from fantasy to reality. And there's a thing that happens to human beings when the dream starts to become real and we bring it down to earth, these voices start to happen inside of our heads. I'm familiar with them. You are very familiar are you with them. Are good enough voices? Yeah, am I good enough? I need more training. I don't know what I'm doing. Who, who the fuck am I to be a coach? Who am I to write a I don't book? have everything figured I out. I don't have it figured out. I don't know what I'm doing. And I had this woman come to me yeah. once. I have to tell this story. This woman came to me, and she wanted to write a book about when an adult child commits suicide. It's a very important topic, very heavy topic. And she says to me, my daughter th died three years ago, and I'm not even over it. Yeah. Like, who am I to right. help you? Right? right? Right. I'm like, I don't think you're supposed to be over right. it. Right. It's okay. I don't, exactly. And as if you're a coach and you're supposed to have your life be perfect, then it's particularly confronting because you're going, I'm not perfect. How am I supposed to coach other people? Right. And this book is about what it takes to step across that because there's another voice. Mm -hmm. There's another voice in there that actually knows, oh, I am supposed to be a coach. I am supposed to write that book. I am supposed to run for city council. I am supposed to go sing on that stage. I am, I am. And so um, that's the inside stuff. So mm -hmm. you, this is what you do, too. It's like you so good. You know, and so we could give people all the tools, all the blueprints, all the steps. Every email every template, template to your heart's desire. Right. But until you um, make that shift inside to say, it's me, it's me, it's on me, I'm ready to be that person, I'm ready to be the person who can be the coach, finish yeah. the book, run for city council, right, whatever, it's whatever the so, dream is. So it's really everything. The, yeah. the techniques and the tools are important, but until you answer this question, you will find creative ways to sabotage yourself, you'll impress us all. Yes. So, um, so let's talk about Cindy, because you work a lot with people who are at the beginning of a journey. Cindy from Texas says, yes. what's your advice to someone who feels the urge to write but doesn't know where to start? I have some very specific advice, Cindy. You need to go to the author incubator. <laughs> I did not ask her to say that. <laughs> no, but here's a true thing. Um, I actually didn't come to this program with a book in mind. I had no book idea. I was getting um, guidance in my prayers. In my prayers, I say, how would you have me be used? Mm -hmm. God, divine guidance. And I was getting feedback that it was about writing. And I told my best friend, I'm going to be writing soon. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> and then uh, two days later, Angela popped up in my Facebook feed. And I said, that's interesting. So I uh, showed up to the program without my book clearly in mind, but I knew it was one of the ways that I would serve. And this process, before we even start writing the book, we do so much pre-work to get clear about the calling, about the message, and really about the movement. That's what your, your mission is about. It's not book writing, as you guys can hear it. It's about leading movements. So that's my, that's my advice. Uh, it's a great <laughs> answer. I don't have a better one. If you have thought about becoming a coach, or if you are a coach and are wondering why your business isn't taking off, or frankly, if you have any dream that's not taking off, the tips inside of who the fuck am I to be a coach, 
by Megan Jo Wilson. It's a warrior's guide to building a wildly successful coaching business from the inside out. A great coaching business for sure is an inside job. I yes. know your coaches are lucky to have you. If you want a taste of what it might be like to work with Megan Jo or just get some of the wisdom from, would you say, 13 years of coaching? Um, also started when she was 11. So many right. 11 year olds started yes. their business here. It's incredible. <laughs> so uh, check that out on Amazon. And maybe you know somebody who is also a coach who's struggling, an accountability buddy or something like that. Mm -hmm. Share this link with them. It will not be free for long. So today is the day to get it. Uh, Megan Jo is number one in mentoring and coaching. We so did it. If you are looking for the number one coach in mentoring and coaching, the number one book author in mentoring and coaching, this is her today. Get the book before it's too late. So yes. thank you so thank much, you so Megan Jo. So Great much. job with the book. Thank you, book launch team. Yay for the book launch team. And if you are here with uh, one of our authors, um, go ahead and shout out their name. Maybe you are mate waiting for one of our couple remaining authors. We're going to run a little bit over that 3 o'clock hour, but if you stay to the end, I will tell you how you'll get those $1,000 worth of gifts. And if you're wondering, there are a couple questions here about um, will these authors be making money on their books? Yes, so all of our authors make 100% of their commissions. Um, we call those royalties, Ebba. So I bet you're the Ebba who just joined our program. You will hear all about that. So nice to see you here, checking out the authors who came before you in the program. Um, and royalties are very interesting. I teach a lot about this in my new book, Make Them Beg to Publish Your Book. How much money should you be making from your book and how should you be making that money? We spend a lot of time talking about that because the truth is if you are going to have a movement like some of the ones you've seen here today, changing the conversation about grief, relationships, any of the conversations you've seen here today, those are movements that all need to be funded. And that means you need to understand the business of being an author, not just being an author.